Welcome to my garden. Such a beautiful spring day. I will show you some parts of the garden. I will show you the woodland garden. And um, as you can see, there's so much um, growing here. And um, in few weeks time, the soil will be covered. I'm waiting for all the spring bulbs. We already have some, but um, I would like to, first of all, to mention this plant, this beautiful shrub. This is Corylopsis pausiflora. I don't know if you know this shrub. It's, um, you can see it's quite low growing. Uh, around uh, one and a half meter and uh, it ca it have been growing here um, about um, I think maybe 12 or 15 years. This plant is not um, completely hardy but um, because we live here with the forest where we have it um, quite mild we don't have that much wind and um, it's not very cold. Uh, it survives here in, um, in the garden. If you, if you don't know this beautiful shrub, I think that um, you should uh, maybe try to Google it. Such a little wonder in the woodland garden just now is um, all the small, beautiful primroses. We have them in so many places and they really like the place here and um, they are so easy to grow, they are so easy um, to divide when they have bloomed. We just stick them up and take them apart and um, they will also self-seed. I really love them and think that this is really a wonder of the world. Oh, it's such a nice day. The sun is shining and it's um, mild. But I can tell you that here in Denmark, we have got so much rain. But um, yes, what can we do? Uh, there's another plant I would like to mention. Uh, uh, one more little beauty. And it's a long-living perennial. Uh, this, is a, this is a, you can call it a sweet pea. Uh, Latyrus. This is uh, Latyrus vernus, and um, this plant has been growing here for so many years. Um, I have told, I have shown that um, that the soil here will will soon be covered, and this is um, especially because we have this plant. You know, um, Allium. Uh, this plant is uh, growing in the wood here, you can see, and um, it's a beautiful plant when it when it's um, when it's in in when it's um, in flower, but uh, it can it's very spreading and it could be a little bit too much. But um, yes, I live with them and um, it's fine. And also we have here the Centra Spectabilis, the Bleeding Heart, also a nice and beautiful plant here and um, so much is happening. And see this one, it can be hard to believe that this is uh, a hydrangea, but uh, this is a hydrangea, it's, um, the name is Hydrangea Aspera. This hydrangea have the most beautiful flowers and uh, we have some small ones here. I can show you them in a minute. I just love to use shrubs in the garden and uh, this is Philadelphus and uh, you can probably see that uh, this variety have uh, limey foliage. I think it's so interesting with um, with shrubs and plants with, um, with beautiful foliage. This is the elderflower, um, Sambucus, black beauty. And here you can see you have the, 
the dark foliage, and uh, I can tell you that um, the flowers, they are soft pink. So much is going to happen in the next couple of weeks. And um, just now I'm waiting for all the daffodils. We have so many different varieties um, here. You can see here we have, this is, I think, Narcissus poeticus, one of the latest flowering um, daffodils. And um, I, I promise that I, in about, um, let's see, two weeks time, will show you this border again. And here you see one more of the Hydrangea aspera. And um, when you have a big bush, you will have some shoots from the bottom and then you can uh, dig them up and then you can um, just plant them. When it comes to um, colorant um, foliage, I would like to mention this plant. This is Antriscus sylvestris ravenswing, such a beautiful umbellifer. And uh, you can see the, the foliage here is uh, mingling with uh, all the other plants. And here we have um, uh, Heliberus orientalis, and uh, we have them in so many places in the garden. And um, we also have tulips here, and um, the secret um, in my borders uh, is that they are that the flowering is continuing week after week after week. It starts with uh, daffodils, then we have uh, the tulips, and uh, then we have uh, all the beautiful perennials. Here, there's one more of the. Heliberus, they, they have so many beautiful colors and I think it's really amazing that uh, they will flower this time of the year. And um, see the yew hedges here, they give so much to the garden, I really, I really love the strict lines. And um, then we have some magnolias. They are not started yet. yet. This is um, yellow birch, also a beautiful variety. And um, here we will have um, alliums. Um, this is Allium Mont Everest, um, a white variety. And uh, yes, you can see some few of the daffodils, they are just um, started to bloom. I can tell you that the garden here is um, about 30 years old. When we came here, there was just a lawn. Today we have no lawn, we have um, flowers and we have many rooms here. In the garden, we have around um, 15 rooms in different um, color schemes and um, I can also I can also tell you that the garden here is um, around 4,000 square meter. And um, see the magnolias here, they are, they are great. And also the weeping pier we have here, um, it's also a great plant. Um, but it's still a little bit cold. Um, I think in, in about a month you will see the foliage here. And then we have many peonies. They are coming here and they are also great in the borders. I just love to go around in, um, in the garden looking what is um, happening, but there are someone there's some, something more I would like to show you here in the driveway because we have got so many new plants and we, we need to, um, to try to find space for them. They are just um, arrived, arrived from the Netherlands and uh, you can see here there are so many great treasures and um, I hardly can't wait uh, to plant them. They are different um, 
perennials. And um, you probably know that I'm planting very, very dense. I just squeeze them down. See, for example, this, this is um, Valeriana officinalis, such a beautiful umbellifer, which will reach to about uh, two meters. This is um, Decentra spectabilis alba, the white um, bleeding heart. Here we have um, Heleberus foetidus and um, also here. What is that? I will see here. Oh, this is, oh, this is Papaver orientale Harlem, which have such a beautiful color. We will be very, very busy in uh, the next couple of weeks. And um, there's so much to look forward to. And um, yes, let's um, go and see what is um, happening here in this little part. Um, you probably know that I love limey, chartreuse, folias. See this one, this is a berberis, also a great plant. This was um, a little tour in the garden in the beginning of um, April. I really hope, of course, that you um, liked it and uh, I will look very much forward to come back. And I promise that I will be back quite soon, showing you all the early daffodils. Thank you so much for watching.